Okay. Okay. So the levels are okay. This week in Salzburg, we have been discussing various definitions of social protection, and I think it is wrong to uh, confine it to a narrow set of uh, social assistance policies. We have to think across silos, we have to bring in discussions, uh, experts from uh, labor market uh, policies, we have to bring in discussion economic policies and uh, public uh, fiscal policies. The language of social protection is a relatively new one. But it refers to uh, policies and approaches that have been around for quite a long time. You know, in, in Europe and in America, it's been talked about in terms of social insurance. In a lot of Asian countries, we talk about social welfare, social assistance. But what holds these different policies together is that they are an attempt to address questions of both poverty and insecurity. And it's that element of insecurity and vulnerability to shocks and risks and stresses that you know, has brought the language of social protection to the forefront. A good social protection system is one that precisely helps reduce the vulnerability of, of people to shocks, external shocks. They can be uh, natural shocks, man-made shocks, uh, economic shocks. You know, especially now we're so interconnected. Something that happens in J Japan affects the Philippines.